Features are applied to two-dimensional sketches to create or modify three-dimensional parts. All features can be found in the feature toolbar at the top of a part studio. When a feature is created, it is parametrically stored in the feature list so that if needed, it can be modified later. When creating a feature, a dialog appears with options to define that feature. The first option to choose is solid, surface, or thin. The solid option creates a solid model that has volume and is bounded by the faces of the part. A surface model extrudes the sketch entity or part edge as a surface. They do not have thickness or volume. The thin option creates a wall feature similar to the rib, adding material to either side of a sketch entity or part edge. In this course, we are focusing on solid and thin modeling. Under the solid and thin modeling options, there are the four Boolean operators, new, add, remove, and intersect. Selecting new creates a new part from the feature. New is automatically selected for the first feature in the part studio. New is also used for multi-part part studios. More information on this is explained in the multi-part part studios course. The add option adds the feature to a pre-existing part defined in the merge scope. The merge scope defines which parts the new geometry created by the feature is applied to. The remove option cuts geometry from a pre-existing part defined in the merge scope. Intersect finds the common geometry between the sketches in the profile option and the parts in the merge scope. Once we decide between solid, surface, or thin and the Boolean operator needed, the dialog asks for different inputs depending on the feature. Let's look at the specifics for four basic building features in Onshape, Extrude, Revolve, Sweep, and Loft. Extrude options for solid and thin adds, subtracts, or intersects depth to selected sketch regions. Select Extrude from the Feature Toolbar or use the keyboard shortcut Shift plus E and choose the profiles to extrude. The input in the dialog asks for faces or sketch regions to extrude. You can select an entire sketch or specific regions of a sketch. The extrude direction defaults to normal to the sketch plane. The sketch plane is the planar area where the sketch is defined. This might be a reference plane or planar face of a part. A thin extrude asks for similar selections to the solid extrude. When selecting a face, the edges of the face are used. A thin extrude is normal to the sketch plane. However, the thickness of the thin extrude is determined by direction 1 and direction 2 values perpendicular to the sketch plane. Direction 1 and direction 2 can be reversed with the opposite direction button. The end type is chosen from the drop-down. End type refers to the condition at which the feature terminates. Blind creates the feature to a specified distance in one direction from the sketch plane. To flip the direction, select the opposite direction arrow icon. Enabling direction allows you to define the extrude angle using sketch lines, edges, or faces of a part, make connectors, or even planes. Starting offset allows you to set a distance away from the selected sketch or face of the extrude. This creates a gap between the selection and where the extrude begins. The starting offset bound can be set to blind using a specified depth, or it can be set to an entity that can be selected. Reverse the offset direction with the opposite direction arrow. Symmetric creates the feature to a specified distance equally in both directions from the sketch plane. The depth value defined is the total depth of the extrude. On shape extrudes half the value in each direction from the sketch plane. Through all creates the feature through all the selected parts in the merge scope. To define an extrusion in two directions, check the option for a second end position. Different end types can be chosen in each direction. Defining the end types based on the design intent of the part creates a more intelligent and robust model. For example, if a cut should be through the entire part, defining the end type as through all ensures even if the part is adjusted to be longer, the cut removes geometry through the entire part. It is also key to understand that an on-shape part studio solves each feature in the order it's listed in the feature list. The first feature or sketch solves first, then the second one, then the third and so on. If an extrusion is added to the end of a through all cut, the cut is no longer through the entire part because the cut was defined first before the added geometry. 
Reordering the features in the list, moving the added extrusion before the through all cut, adjusts the part so the cut is now through the part. The order of sketches and features in a feature list defines the design intent and order in which on shape is calculating the model. In addition to the extrude feature, revolve, sweep, and loft features create different types of geometry. Revolve creates, adds, subtracts, or intersects parts by turning sketch regions about a defined axis. Select Revolve from the Feature Toolbar. The first input in the dialog requires the region to revolve. The second input requires the axis to revolve about, defining the center of the turn feature. The axis can be a line or circle in the sketch or an edge or cylindrical face of an existing part. There are four end type options for the revolve feature. Full, one direction, symmetric, and two directions. Similar to extrude, these options define the termination of the feature. Full creates a 360 degree revolve around the chosen axis. One direction revolves in one direction from the sketch plane at the specified angle. To change the direction, select the opposite direction arrow icon. Symmetric revolves the profile in both directions equally from the sketch plane. Similar to extrude, the input is the total revolution and on shape turns the feature half of the specified degrees in both directions. Two directions revolves the region in both directions from the sketch plane at different specified angles. Sweep defines a shape with a constant cross section along a given path. Select Sweep from the Feature Toolbar. The first input requires faces or sketch regions to sweep. This is the profile defining the cross section of the feature. The second input requires lines, arcs, edges, or curves to define the path on which the region is transformed along. Common parts that are created with sweep features are springs, coils, or a paperclip. Each of these has a constant cross section that is transformed along a defined path. Loft blends single region profiles together to define the geometry. Select Loft from the Feature Toolbar. The input in the dialog needs sketch profiles or faces to loft. The profiles must be on different sketch planes and should be selected in the intended order of the blend. If you need to reorder the regions, click the Reorder Items icon to drag the regions in the correct sequence. Lofted profiles are typically different shapes, for example, blending a rectangle into a circle. A commonly used trick to ensure a smooth loft is to make sure each profile has the same number of entities. In this example, splitting the circle into four arcs ensures a smoother loft with more control. These four basic features are the main building blocks to create part geometry. Sketches and features are created in sequential order to model parts, whether to add, remove, or intersect the geometry. Each feature requires certain inputs to define it, and these parameters should be chosen based on the design requirements of the part.